Hey everybody, John Duncan here. I just want to walk you through something I drew up and I get a lot of questions on this conservation easement program. So I want to clarify some of that. I just put in as a round example, $1 million of AGI and without doing anything, just paying the tax, the tax that was California and federal equaled 468,590, $531,000 in take home. If this person did a conservation easement, it would drop the taxable income to 500 grand. You got the ta new tax is only 211,354. Cost of the CE is 130, net 658 instead of 531. The difference is 127,236. That may or may not seem like a lot of money. I started factoring it out. If you took it over 10 years, say somebody did this for 10 years solid, at 7%, that equals $1.881006 million. That's over 10 years. What does that mean? Well, I figured it right here. That adds an extra three and a half years of extra income. Now, if there was no growth at all, it adds an additional two and almost two and a half years, 2.4 years of without any work or anything. So why does this work so well? Because we have progressive tax rates. The more you make, the more they take. Taxes saved are in the pocket, as I mentioned, no overhead. Over 10 years, I just showed you that, almost four years, three and a half years of, uh, this is 3.5 years of current. And question I get, why don't people do? Number one is they never heard of. And because there's only a few specialists in the country that do these and do them well, um, we actually have a firm that has an impeccable record that does all for all of our clients that do conservation easements. By the way, you don't need to own land. They actually secure land that's been in multiple generations. They don't work with something on flips. They, they go find land that's been owned for typically hundreds of years. So anyway, don't need to own land. Um, what most people don't realize as they move up the income ladder is obviously if you're just following the tax code and using a CPA, whatever, there's not, the deductions start actually disappearing. When you go up, you want to be like Amazon and pay zero taxes. You got to buy big deductions. And an example would be like on a mortgage. Now there's a limit now on the mortgages. Um, However, if you're into rentals and things like that, there's ways to structure. But bottom line is you have to pay something and then you get a deduction. Conservation easement is the same thing. The only difference is you actually get more out of it than you even put into it. So it's not like uh, donating to a church. You only get, you know, at best half of what you put in. This, you actually get a return on it. So, um, and you could, you know, look at business expenses and so forth. So, um, bringing it all home here, um, what's really cool is that it essentially eliminates the taxes at the top of your taxable income. The way to look at that is paying 130,000 to do a CE, divided by 500,000 of income that it removes from being taxable, that's basically a 26% tax rate. Instead of, in this case, the 257 that was charged on the second 500 of a million dollar income, 51.4%. So it's basically, do you want to pay 51.4% on that 500, 501 to 1 million or pay 26%? That's the difference of a conservation easement. Or you could look at it like this, the total net, 34% versus almost 
you know, 34.1 instead of paying 46.85. Now, people in other states probably don't realize California's got some mega tax rates as a state. <clears throat> so, bottom line results. 26% versus 54 on the top half of the income. Extra two and a half years of income without growth. Three and a half years with 7% growth. Additional 127 236 without any overhead taxes or work. This is literally in your pocket. Why is that important? If you're overhead, if you're only, you know, banking 30% of, of return <coughs> of what you're putting out and in, check that out. You'd have to earn you know, almost a half a million dollars to crank out that amount of money. But we're, this is in your pocket money. And when I look at this, you know, this could be the difference. And it is, a, this is just one of the strategies that I work with. But this is like a start strategy to get money so that people can start developing bigger and better plans because they're reduce, reducing the one expense that is the killer and that is taxes um could that's why i put over here could be the difference between financial independence in a short time or near do well near near do well nobody wants to be that guy um so bottom line i know i went fast and hard on this but People don't understand these, and I wanted to cover it real quick so that you got an idea of why people are doing these and why um, they're amazing. They're an, one of the amazing tools out there that can really put more dollars in without you having to go work even harder and harder. Uh, by the way, they are... Um, scalable each year. So if your income goes from 500 grand to a million and 5 million, whatever, you know, today's world, things can happen with technology and everything else. These are scalable with you. It, same thing would be if your income dropped and you, you can do them year to year. Maybe one year you don't need a conservation. Easement. You, they're fully adjustable. It's not anything like you know, defined benefits and things like that, where you're kind of locked in having to do things. This is a year to year as needed. So anyway, that was, I was trying to answer some of the questions that I've received on these. Uh, if you have any questions or want to investigate this further, uh, shoot me a, a message and we'll go from there. So anyway, John Duncan here to make you more money.